We have Finn Balor defending the United States Championship match. Tell your friends about this one. Finn Balor will be facing Theory. Because he can't be Austin Theory anymore. He must be Theory. So uh, Finn Balor will be facing Theory for the United States Championship. And then we have Kevin Owens administering a lie detector test on Ezekiel. And then we will have the double wedding of Dana Brooke and Reggie and Tamina and Akira Tozawa. So we've got a double wedding, a lie detector test, and two championship matches. And I believe, Mike, we have once again lost Mike Sempervivi. I'm just going to mute everything for now. I'm going to continue on, and we'll figure this out in the next segment. So, as, uh, as noted here, uh, Austin Theory is no longer Austin Theory, because what happened was Vince McMahon, 76-year-old Vince McMahon, he woke up one day and he decided, oh, I don't want anyone's names! No real names! And so uh, this, of course, does not apply to everybody. It's, it's, I forget the, the name that Dave used in The Observer, but Randy Orton's not going to wake up tomorrow and get a new name. But if you're, uh, you know, some random person or whatever, uh, this could apply to you. So uh, because Austin Theory's real, his, his real name is not Austin Theory, okay? But his real first name is Austin. So therefore... He can't use his real first name as part of his fake full name. So uh, he can no longer be Austin Theory. He just has to be Theory. Or, you know, they could have given him a new first name. They could have just decided, you know, we'll call him uh, Frank Theory. But they decided, ah, we'll just call him Theory. So uh, that's why Marcel Bartel has a new name, because apparently that's actually his name is Marcel Bartel. Uh, Walter's real name was Walter, so now he must be uh, Gunther, because that's not his real name. And then uh, we now have the name changes for uh, two NXT wrestlers. Uh, Kaylee Ray is now going to be Alba Fire, F-Y-R-E, Alba Fire. And uh, this one's my favorite. They are changing the name of Casey Catanzaro. Okay, Casey Catanzaro is no longer Casey Catanzaro. She is now Katana Chance. I guess because she takes a lot of chances or something. Katana Chance is the new name of, of Casey Catanzaro. And I was thinking about this the other day. And I don't know if you guys know this about Casey Catanzaro, but she was on American Ninja Warrior and she was like, you know, really popular on that show. And they saw her, and they signed her, and they they gave her spots out of American Ninja Warrior. Like, she climbs the ring post to get into the ring. But now they're going to change her name. She's no longer Casey Catanzaro. Because, I mean, when you think about it, it's not like calling her Casey Catanzaro, you're going to do, like, huge business or anything like that. It honestly doesn't matter. Like, you're not going to get new fans because American Ninja Warrior's Casey Catanzaro is in WWE. But it is funny that you go out of your way to hire somebody out of American Ninja Warrior, and then we must change her name. It's like, you know, the Creed Brothers, as we mentioned. You know, they all they do is talk about the accolades of the Creed Brothers, but that's not actually their their names. They they have they have names that they actually got all of those accolades under, and so uh, so there you go. So anyway, she can no longer be Casey Catanzaro. Uh, so all of that, you know, what's the point? She's Katana Chance, and uh, there's going to be probably others that have to change their names as well as a result of this decree, which I'm sure will uh, you know not last forever. Uh, Raquel Gonzalez had to change her name to uh, Raquel Rodriguez because Gonzalez is her actual last name. So all I can think of is that, uh, you know, Vince's Vince's concern, presumably. Oh, Raul Mendoza also now Cruz del Toro. He's no longer Raul Mendoza. So presumably Vince's concern is that, uh, well, you know, if Austin Theory leaves WWE to go to AEW, he can't be Austin Theory 
but he could be Austin. Well, we can't have that. So we have to take away everything from them that is real that they could therefore then use elsewhere. Obviously, if you're a, a Matt Riddle, you know, you're not going to have to change your last name. I don't think. I guess we could, you know, turn on the show tonight. He's got a new name. But uh, that's his new decree for the NXT folks, the folks being called up to the main roster. No real names, not even a real first name and a fake last name or a uh, whatever. So it's Vince. It does it. It honestly doesn't matter, but it is one of those Vince things that I must ridicule on air because it's ridiculous. Are you back now, Mike? I am indeed. Yes. All right. We got audio and video from Mike here. The, that is very Vince, by the way. And why did Riddle have to change his uh, first name? Why did they drop that one? Well, uh, the reason that they originally dropped his first name was because uh, they were. And this is another funny one. They didn't want people to Google Matthew Riddle's name and find out that he had had all of those issues with weed in UFC. And so I guess in Vince's brain, because he's 76, well, if we remove his first name, they won't be able to find any information about him. Never mind the fact that if you Google WWE Riddle, his whole name comes up in his Wikipedia and everything about his whole entire life. But that was Vince's, uh, that was his solution to, uh, and then, of course, nowadays, you know, now you may as well give him his name back because now they're, they're embracing the whole weed thing. Uh, on SmackDown, uh, grasshoppers. Remember he used to jump in the air and kick his shoes off and, and uh, birds would fly out or whatever? Well, on SmackDown, it was, it was grasshoppers. And so they were making all these these comments about grass. Because now it's like a gimmick that they, they're they weed smokers. Him and Randy Orton are friends in weed. But uh, before they decided that that was okay, they didn't want people finding about all of this weed. And so they thought the solution was to get rid of his first name. Then we would know it'll be able to find out anything about this Matt Riddle. If we just call him Riddle, maybe they'll Google it and find something about Batman. He's lighter and he worked the whole match. Yes. <sighs> Bug fly in your mouth? I missed that. Jared, can we get a replay? Was that on film? I swallowed a bug. I hope God. it was a big one. Ah. Mm. My wife is asking what happened. And, and you explain. bug. She's cackling. She's never, I've never seen her so happy. <laughs> What's just... God trying to tell me when I was in the middle of that speech and a bug flew in my mouth? Talk less? I guess. <laughs> I don't... There's not a meaning in everything, dude. Sometimes bad things just happen for no reason. A bug food in your mouth. You think you, think you, you think it was bad? How do you think the bug feels? If I'm walking down the road and I see a giant mouth, I'm not going in it. <laughs> right? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.